Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, sort of. Thank you for asking the body beat down here, Michael, at your most humble service. Boy, has it been an interesting day today. I'm not going to give any channel their little moment of fame by calling them out, but let's just say that there are people that are trolling my channel for whatever reason. I guess, actually, I know the reason. They have no life, uh, and they're jealous, and, uh, they see people like myself and other people uh, that I know lifting heavy weights. Heavy weights that they obviously can't do, or maybe they think that we're too old to be able to do. It's almost like you're blown away by the fact that when you're over the age of 30, you can still bend over and tie your shoes. You know that there's people out here like myself who are actually putting in time and effort into working out five, six, seven days a week. And we're eating healthy, good foods six, seven days a week. Do you know what? That's actually a thing. And it actually does work. It actually puts muscle on the body. It actually gives you some sort of drive and some sort of energy without taking any sort of drugs. Go figure. Who would have thunk? So for those of you haters out there that are trolling my channel and my other friends channels that I won't mention. I won't throw them in there. Get a freaking clue. Get a life. Make your own videos. Do something good for yourself instead of constantly pestering people out here that are trying to do something good and spread a decent message to others and also try to do something good for themselves by working out or walking or spinning on a bike or doing whatever it is that they're doing. Why not give them a little clappy dappy do? And a little pat on the back and say good job or shut the up and go away. Now, the video in question that the guy was talking about, and he actually stole from my channel and he's reported, it was a video of me doing some rack presses. Now, for those of you who know, and this is for those of you who don't know, I have a shoulder problem. Very bad, painful shoulder problem. I was supposed to have surgery but I didn't have surgery. Now, over the years, I have lots of scar tissue. It feels like all my meat is ripping off my bones, okay? Also, at the same time, when my shoulder was at its very worst, it was also a bone problem where it felt like there was a crowbar shoved down in my clavicle area here and doing this. Very painful, very painful. Now, my shoulder has subsided, the pain has subsided a little bit, over the past two years, that's why I'm able to work out again. Now, if I go down too far with any amount of weight, it starts pulling on all of the soft tissue and starts flaming it all right back up. And right now, I don't want that to happen. Okay? But for those of you that like to critique form, number one, my form ain't going to be perfect anyways whenever I do these because I do this. I can't help it. I do calf raises whenever I press. I can't help it. That's why I sit down and press all the time. You can't do that. But I'm about to do some rack presses today, guys. And I want you to watch. And I want you to enjoy. Give me a pat on the back. Good job, old dude. Wow, that's pretty awesome for an old guy. Wow, I can't believe it. Wow, amazing. Give me a pat on the back. Give other people a pat on the back because they probably need it. Instead of your critiques. Instead of your crap that you spread online. Be happy that you're online because I know face-to-face -face you wouldn't say anything. That's what cowards do is they stay behind the internet. They do this. So what I did is I lowered the bar down to my chest. It's almost at the nipple, okay? If I go like that, it's on the nipple, okay? And I'm going to take and I'm going to do presses from here up as high as I can go. I'm not gonna lock, I'm not gonna lock my arm out. I'm not gonna lock my elbows out. You're not supposed to do that, number one. I'll do it more so with a light weight, but once I start getting up in weight, I'm not locking my elbows out. You shouldn't either. I don't care who you are. I don't care how young you are. I don't care if you have injuries, no injuries, some injuries, or many injuries. You don't lock your arms out once you get, especially into the higher weights. It's too much pressure on the joints. That's common sense, guys. You don't lock your knees out. Have you ever heard that? You're not supposed to lock your knees out. When you're standing, you're not supposed to even lock your knees out. Why? I don't know. It can make you pass out, from what I've heard. That's what they say. They go for you. So you don't lock your, your joints out. 
So we got a 95 right here, 25s and a bar, 45. Simple math, guys. If you work out, you know the math. Oh, before I forget, no, I'm not on steroids. I can't even afford to have good food in the house half the time. How am I going to afford steroids, guys? I don't take TRT. I'm not on HGH. I got a gut. All right? I, I'm, 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 I got some fat on me. When you take a lot of that stuff, your skin thins out. You look a drier. You look grainier. You get more veiny. You have a, a leathery look about your skin a lot of times, especially when you get older, like I am. Okay? There's other things you can look for. Yes, I'm stronger than a lot of you watching. Yes, I'm stronger than most people out there on the street because I work out two years now straight without hardly missing a single day, even when my back is completely out. I'm in here trying to do this. I'm in here trying to do this, sitting down, trying to take my time and do stuff. I'm still walking. I'm still spinning on my bike. Even when I can't even walk, I'm out there doing it. So we're not on drugs just because we're stronger than you and just because we're over the age of 25. I'm over the age of 25. Never taken a drug. Never do. I've never smoked cigarettes. I don't vape. I don't smoke pot. I'm not a pill popper. I don't drink alcohol. And I don't do any sort of PEDS, performance enhancing drugs, ever. I've never done anything. You want to come join me on a blood work? We can go get our blood work together. How about that? You'll see I have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and gout. Not only that, I have very bad depression and anxiety. And your crap hole comments don't help. This has been a long opening. That's what she said. Let's go ahead and start working out. I've given you guys enough attention. Okay? I hope this is going to be good enough for you. Stick around, because this is going to be good. The theme for today is aggression. We got 135 now. If you can do math, if you work out, you know your math. 45, 45, 45. 135. that the little sweet fella took a clip from of mine had me doing 225. The weight was up just a smidgen farther where it was more about this area because that's where I feel comfortable pressing from. This is down here by the chest, 225. On that video, it took me three tries to even get one sort of kind of decent-ish rep out. And I even called it on the video. I said, I'm giving myself that rep because I struggled and I did it three, three takes to try to get that. So I gave myself one rep. He called me out on that and his little buddies did too. My specialty is not standing presses because of my back. And also I'm not great with my arm, but okay. The bar is down here by my chest, 225. Let's redeem ourselves and get one rep in our first try. <sighs> G. 
Just kidding. So let's try to redeem ourselves here and get 225 for one decent rep from the chest. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect. Again, my forte is sitting presses. Let's try and get one rep decent from the chest. Like I said, standing presses is not my forte, so I'm happy to get whatever I get. Let's do a sitting press with 225, after I've already tried standing it three times. There you go. See? You do what you can do, and you're proud of what you can do. You don't try to live up to someone else's hype. You live up to your own. Impress yourself, because that's what's most important. Now, I'm gonna go back to standing presses. So guys, what you've seen is all I'm gonna record. I just wanted to kind of touch base with you on what's going on. And again, as you've seen, standing 225 is still not easy. Sitting, I can push them out. If I wasn't worn out, pissed off, and I didn't even eat lunch, I probably could have got six or eight. So I'm going to finish my workout. I'm not even close to being done. i got to finish up shoulders and then do some back. Anyway, guys, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. Again, watch what you say. Think of what you're saying. Is it going to do help or harm? Okay? We all like to speak our minds sometimes, but think about what you're saying at the moment. Try and think about things. Okay? I don't know what else to say. I'm not going to change 9 billion people out there on the planet. I can only start with myself, and uh, that's about all we all can do. So... Get up, get out, get rad, do it, do it, and don't take clips from my videos. Or I'll report you. Have a good day, guys. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it, do it! <laughs>